Hi everyone, it's Big B and me, and today I'm going to be discussing with you all the different types of hamster cages and their differences, pros, cons, etc. to give you some insight on what hamster cage might be best for your pet. Before I begin, I would like to give you a reminder that whatever cage you choose, it should meet the minimum size requirements, which is 360 square inches. However, it is recommended that you give your hamster more space. You can determine the square inches of your cage by multiplying the length and width. First, glass cages. There are a variety of these cages to choose from, including aquariums, terrariums, even IKEA shelves, etc. You can typically find aquariums that are less expensive than terrariums, but this all depends on where you buy it from and how big it is. A 10 gallon is too small for a hamster to live in, so you should look for at least a 20 gallon long aquarium, but always check the measurements. I will mention that a few of my past hamsters like to chew the silicone in the corners of the tank, so this could be a problem depending on your small pet. IKEA shells can be turned into hamster cages by turning it on the side and removing the shells. This is great for providing a large amount of space for your pet, will not be coming too expensive, though it can take up quite a bit of space. Here's what we have covered so far in the glass cage category. Next are bar cages. These can be hard to find in the minimum size, especially if you're looking at a pet store. You will find many that are unsuitable as standalone cages, but you can find many suitable ones online on websites like BioVet and Amazon. There are some of the websites that do not meet the size requirements, so be careful of this. The cons of this option is that many hamster owners have had problems with their pet climbing the bars, sometimes falling, and their hamsters chewing on the bars. This can be occurring because your hamster is bored from lack of toys and chews, but some will just do this because it is part of their personality. In that case, there is not much that you can do other than switching them to a glass cage where they can't climb up. Others do not have a problem with bar cages and they work great for their hamsters. It really does depend on your pet. Next, bin cages. Bins are probably the most inexpensive option, so if price is an important factor for you, then I definitely recommend you look into it. You can find them almost anywhere, online at Walmart, Target, or practically any other nearby store. Be sure to check how high the bin is compared to your hamster's wheel. If the wheel is bigger than the height of the bin, you won't be able to put a lid on the top. It is recommended that you use a lid because some hamsters are really talented escape artists and can find their way out of most anything. I have heard of a hamster being able to climb on top of their wheel and keep their balance enough to escape, so on the extra safe side, I would suggest using one. Since bins do not come with ventilated lids, you will need to attach wire mesh. Some owners like to do the same on the sides to offer even more ventilation. You may want to take consideration that if your hamster has a continuous problem with bar chewing, they might want to do the same with wire mesh. In this case, I would only put ventilation on the lid and not have any platforms where your pet can reach it. The biggest con that bin cages have are that they are made out of plastic, so it is easy for your hamster to chew it. Koda began chewing on the ridges near the top, so I had to remove any access to them. I have also heard of some hamsters chewing their way out and becoming lost, so this is definitely something to consider. I would recommend that you place the cage in an area that your pet can't escape too far, so you can easily find them. Don't be too worried about this though, as most bin cages work well with hamsters, but I do suggest that you keep it in mind. Here is what we have covered so far in the bin cage category. Lastly are custom cages. While you can customize bin cages, I have included this category for cages that you make from scratch. You can do this using wood from your local hardware store, parts of IKEA furniture, and other creative ways. Always make sure that whatever you use, it will be safe for your hamster. If you recently adopted a new hamster, I would suggest purchasing an aquarium. There is always so much more to learn about a new pet, therefore it is easier to buy something that is overall most likely to work well with any kind of hamster. With an aquarium, you won't have to worry about bar chewing or making your own cage from scratch. Of course, there are cons and this is my opinion, so whatever you decide, I'm sure will provide the best life possible for your hamster. Thank you so much for watching this video everyone. If you would like to see more, here is another video on hamster care, here on Rigby and Me.